Hello everybody, today I'm at the Chicago Auto Show taking a look at this 2024 Chevy Silverado 1500 ZR2. This is an amazing, amazing off-road capable truck. I love the exterior color. Um, I love what they did for the ZR2. So starting off up front, you're going to get the signature style LED accent lighting, full LED headlight and fog light group red powder coated tow recovery hooks and because this is the ZR2 um, you're actually going to get increased approach and departure angle front and rear bumpers kind of unique to the ZR2 you're also going to have marker lights right here on the grill itself which is also unique to the ZR2 flow through Chevy bow tie this guy does have the 360 degree camera system so your front facing camera is going to be right there Coming up to the hood, we have the sport style hood. This guy also has the three liter inline six Duramax diesel engine. Very, very cool. Oversized black fender flares to protect from rock chips from these big Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT tires on a, looks like an 18 inch gloss black wheel. I think that's 18 inches. I can't see the tire size off the off the quickly but yeah i'm pretty sure this is an 18 inch gloss black wheel general motors gives you a thicker coat of paint along this portion of the vehicle to protect against rock chips and then eventually uh paint corrosion and metal corrosion um i really appreciate that especially with these off-road vehicles gloss black mirror caps mirror mounted camera is going to be right there blind spot monitoring is included this guy has gloss black door handles with passive entry on the driver and passenger door so as long as you have the key fob on you you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the driver or passenger door <clears throat> try to get in here real quick you can see right back in there you have your multimatic uh, dssv performance shocks coming around to the rear it actually looks like you're not going to get the increased departure angle bumpers on this guy i did misspeak but you have your parking sensors integrated into the middle portion of the bumper seven pin trailer connector with your camera system right above that zr2 badging is going to be on the passenger side and your blacked out silverado badging is going to be on your driver's side multi pro tailgate we'll go over that a little bit more in detail when we take a look at the bed backup camera led puddle lamp for connecting a trailer in low light conditions fully led tail lamps i believe with incandescent reverse bulbs unfortunately bumper step right there coming around to the driver's side we have your diesel and uh, def fill ports right up here we have your third brake light cargo light cargo camera and rear view mirror camera i'll go over that a little bit more in detail when we take a look at the inside of the cab this wing is actually designed to shoot air up over the bed so even if you don't have a tonneau cover you'll still have a little bit better um, aerodynamics very very beautiful looking truck zr2 badging is going to be on the quarter panel right there let's take a closer look at the interior so i absolutely love the color scheme with the zr2s it's like this nice light gray with this yellow stitching i really like how uh chevy did that really nice soft leather all your window controls are going to be right here mirror controls are going to be there lock and unlock buttons as well as your two seat memory electronic parking brake right here push button transfer case, drive mode dial, including your trailer tow mode, cargo light or er, fog light button, cargo light button, dimmer switch for the instrument cluster, rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle. This guy does have a heads up display, so all those buttons are right here. Heads up display is gonna be displayed right out of that hole right there in the dashboard. Coming to the instrument cluster, it is fully digital. Unfortunately, I do not have the key fob, so I won't be able to go into detail about that, but tons of different parameters you can monitor. I love that the automotive industry is moving in that direction. Coming back to the steering wheel, very nice, soft, leather wrapped steering wheel. You do have paddle shifters with this one. Over on the left hand side of the steering wheel, we have your cruise control buttons, as well as your gap adjustment, and then your heated steering wheel button. Over on the right side, we have the control pad for the center uh, instrument cluster and then we also have your uh, steering wheel mounted audio controls for your phone blacked out chevy bow tie above the touch screen we have a nice little storage tray that brings us to the touch screen massive uh, horizontal touch screen display powered by google um, it does have wireless carplay wireless android auto you can control the 360 degree camera system through here 4g lte connection 
um, high definition navigation. Uh, this thing is awesome. It's got the card system as you can see right now. You got your pre-trip checklist. You can control the climate through here. It does have Amazon Alexa enabled as well. Just overall, this thing is absolutely insane. Physical home button for the radio, volume knob and power button for the touchscreen itself. And I like how it just kind of slowly dims until it goes away. Right here we have a bank of buttons. Starting from left to right, we have your lane keep assist, parking sensors off, automatic start stop off, tailgate release, hazard light button, traction control off, hill descent control, locking rear differential, locking front differential. Push button start, integrated trailer brake controller, heated and ventilated captain's chairs, as well as dual zone climate control, USB, USB type C for the passenger. Little storage tray right here. Two cup holders, another storage tray. Change storage tray. Minimalist style shifter, which I like a lot. Wireless charging mat. Beautiful armrest again. Open that up, giving us access to a USB type C and USB outlet, as well as a 120 watt, 400, or 400 volt power outlet. LED lit. Beautiful leather seats. This guy has two glove boxes. First one's accessed by pushing this button right here. Second one's gonna be right down here. Coming up top to the vanity, it's gonna be LED lit for your passenger as well as your driver. Up top on the headliner, we have a three door universal garage remote, power sliding rear window button, dome map light master controls, SOS and OnStar buttons, and then your video camera rear view mirror. Flick it forward, it turns into the camera. You can control the brightness of the screen. You can control how high or how low the camera views. And then you can also control how zoomed in or zoomed out the camera is. When you're done, flick it back and it goes back to being a rear view mirror. So overall, like I said, I really like the interior of this truck. Um, honestly, I prefer the uh, GMC heavy duty interior um, in terms of layout, but the color scheme, I actually really, really like this one. If I were to get a, a, a Chevy, it would probably have to be the ZR2 just because of the color scheme. Um, also, if you note, noticed, uh, sorry about that, all of the uh, layout for this is almost kind of like a cockpit where it's angled towards the driver. Um, passenger still has access to their stuff over here, but it makes touching things on the touch screen a lot easier. So sitting normally in the truck, I can easily touch the top right corner without having to worry about straining myself and taking my eyes completely off the road. So I love that it's kind of angled towards the driver uh, for a, co a cockpit seating kind of feel. Let's take a look at the back seats and see how much legroom we have. So before I get in, I do want to point out these seats do have under seat storage. And we also have in seat storage as well behind both driver and passenger seats. Getting in is easy with the grab handle. Tons of space back here, load flat floor, Storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Two cup holders right there. Looks like you have heated captain's chairs as well as a USB and USB type C outlet. This center seat does have a fold down armrest slash cup holder. And because this doesn't have any sort of sunroof, the front dri driver and passenger get a bunch of headroom and then they actually pushed up the headliner in the back as well. LED dome map lights up top in the middle and your hanger hooks are integrated into the outermost portion of the headliner. Nice grab handle on the B pillar. Uh, this is probably one of the most comfortable setups I've been in, in terms of uh, a General Motors product. Um, I like that they stay with a single pane sunroof for their light duty and heavy duty trucks. Uh, however, opting to not have a sunroof is gonna give you so much more headroom in here. It actually is extremely comfortable and and I mean, I have probably five or six inches before my head hits the, the top of the headliner. So I think uh, General Motors definitely did it right uh, the way they built this truck. Let's take a look at the bed now. So there's a couple ways to lower the tailgate on this vehicle, seeing as it, as it is the multi-pro tailgate. The first way is the just the small portion. You're gonna push this top button. It's gonna unlock and then it's gonna come down for you. Now, if you have longer items that do stick out of the bed, you can actually fold this guy up and add almost a foot and a half more length of uh, bed space. There are tie down points on both sides as well. 
If you want to open it like a regular tailgate, push the bottom button, it'll automatically come down for you. And then if you want to open it as a step for the Multi Pro, push both at the same time. Once they're both down, you can flip this guy out. It becomes a step. And then you can use this grab handle right there to get up and in. Now, this guy has three tie down points in each of the four corners for a total of 12. You also have LED bed lighting and it looks like a 120 volt, 400 watt power outlet on the passenger side. They also pushed the bed sides out as far as they can to be class leading in terms of bed space. To put everything away, you simply reverse the process. Now, the Multi-Pro tailgate does add a little bit of weight to the tailgate itself, but in one fluid motion with one hand, I can put the thing away. Let's take a quick look at the towing and payload sticker. So here's a towing and payload sticker for this vehicle. Keep in mind if you see one on your local dealer lot that's slightly different, it could be because how it's optioned. General rule of thumb is the more options and packages you get, the less towing and payload you'll have. This is also more of an off-road style vehicle. So here's the vehicle specific Monroney for this guy. Again, it's a 2024 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab ZR2, Glacier Blue Metallic with a three liter turbo diesel and a 10 speed automatic transmission. Standard equipment's gonna be right here for a base price of 69.9. Optional equipment's gonna be down here, all the way to over here, bringing the total MSRP to 74.605. Fuel economy ratings right here. This vehicle's rated at 20 miles per gallon city, 22 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 21 miles per gallon. So there you have it, the 2024 Chevy Silverado 1500 ZR2. Um, in my opinion, this is probably my favorite off-road truck uh, in this segment, meaning like the, uh, the half-ton trucks. Uh, it's actually the only half-ton truck that's still available with a diesel engine. And that three liter inline six Duramax is pretty stout, pretty efficient as well. I really, really like that General Motors kept the three liter diesel. Uh, Ford got rid of their Power Stroke, and then I think uh, Ram got rid of their Eco Diesel as well. So if you're looking for a very, very capable off-road half-ton truck with a diesel engine, you cannot go wrong with the Chevy Silverado. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. If you want to keep up to date with more auto show content and future vehicle walkthroughs, be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.